Welcome back everyone. Just dropped my boy off at school and I have pulled up outside the warehouse and thought I'd give you a little video showing you what I've done with the place. For those of you that don't know, um, Joe has now signed the warehouse over to me, so it's in my name. I've took on the whole warehouse to myself. Me and Joe have not fallen out in any way. Um, we've just we're both growing so we both need more space so joe has now found himself another warehouse and i've taken on this one so follow me and i'll show you what i've done with the place and what i plan to do so this is the warehouse layout now as you can see this was my section that is now all been changed. So this is death pile. Not much eggs, we've been smashing it lately. And not buying as much because I wanted to get all this sorted out. That's all drafted there. So that will be photographed and tested. Photo bay, still the same. Got another photo bay. I've got lights for it, I've just got to put them on, they're in the drawer, um, got this here, got some limb bins to go up here to put all our stuff in, still got pictures hanging on the wall, that's where my desk used to be, now it's uh, stuff is listed and then obviously bin. And this is um, scrap metal, coat hangers for my clothing. This stuff here is listed. TV, scrap TV, little trolley. Still got mugs on the beams. Go all the way down on both sides. And along there, I've got a few little bits. And then these bits here, we're still finding space for. and quite worked out, but look at all that space. So I've got an eye over there. I did have a two tier clothing rail, but I put all my clothes on it and the, the leg bent and pretty much snapped off. So I've had to hang them from the beams. That fender, I don't know why that's there actually, I need to find a place for that. That's all my shoes. Empty rack in here, I've left it there because it was it was slightly too tall to fit under there and I didn't want to dismantle it all. That's where my packing station used to be. I had all the shelves along there. This is the shelves now, which is gonna be put down the back. Big items, brown paper, all my teddies. Really tall rack there. Empty tubs there. More clothing up here. If you stay till the end, I've got a little treat for you. That's all records. Each box is labelled up. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when it sells, it will say R1 or R2, etc. And then I'll know what tub to look through. Because it takes ages finding records. Down here, I've got like golf bags, hoovers, keyboards. There's a box keyboard there. Behind it, there's some more. This is basically for the big stuff. And then I've got more clothing there. So in this whole place, I'm gonna get another, I've already had it priced up, I'm just waiting on the person to be available. 
I'm getting another six lights put in. So it just brightens the whole place up. Got another aisle there. Some more shoes. So I'll take these down one aisle at a time. This one here is printers and towers. And then a few big items at the top. Some more towers. And then paper trays for the printers. And then this is just fragiles and big tool items that I've put up here. got ladders dotted around just so um I ain't got a, a ladder fetish it's just so I don't have to keep dragging ladders to different spots if I just have them dotted around everywhere I ain't got to keep moving them about Christ there's a ladder there <laughs> <laughs> there's another aisle here so this is like stuff that's in tubs. And then fragile is still at the top. See it's a bit darker in this alley. Aisle. Printers. Towers. Some monitors and a big lava lamp. And then, got another aisle. So this would be like toys and just random odds and ends. That I've just dotted around on the shelves. So you can sort of notice that it's dark. And that's why I need more lighting. So I'm getting more buttons. Speakers at the bottom here. And then it's electronics. More electronics. A massive pub sign, which I got in auction. I don't know why I'm bidding on it, because <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna sell that. It's not even listed. These here are just Tubs I used to have computer games in, but I rarely do computer stuff anymore. Um, so I'll just use it for smalls. Some retro TVs and like computer monitors. So this is more speakers down this aisle. More electronics. Big bulky items, more electronics. And then there's just odds and ends on here. Don't know if you can hear that, it's my boots squeaking if you're wondering. Oh, another ladder. And here is like sewing machines, laptops, and more printers. And then I put all my puzzles and board games up the top, stacked right to the ceiling. And then this is more printers, projectors, More board games. And then show you the bathroom. Don't worry, I ain't going to all it. 
So I'm also getting a mirror put in there. I've got two small ones that make do, but. And then got a tumble dryer, washing machine. That's for when I'm cleaning the shoes. And then just your normal stuff. And then I will show you on the next clip in the crib room. So I forgot to show you this bit. This is where my desk is now. Don't know who that hoodlum is. He always intimidates me, he does. He's always pecking on me. <laughs> and then this is the new packing area. That is just temporary and temporary, whatever the word is, <laughs> until I get my sh shelving put up there. Yes, yeah, so this is the new packing area for the minute. Brown paper, bubble wrap. I'm getting a bracket put there so I can um, have my bubble wrap on it. Um, also here I'm getting two double sockets put in cardboard and then poly bags etc bubble wrap and then this is the crib room ignore the clothing I put rugs down because the carpet was needs replacing but it's cheaper to get rugs. Look at that. 42 inch TV. Bigger than the one I got at home. Got Amazon Fire Stick there. So we can uh, like watch Netflix and stuff if ever I'm staying late, which is all the time. <laughs> Microwave, paper plates and stuff in there. That black tower is just what we use for an oven glove. Um, fridge freezer, obviously, an oven, kettle. See Connor's had his bloody sausages in there, look. Um, that's just a little picture I've got, I used to have out on my desk. Then, casting couch. That's some shoes that are cleaned. They're in here drying because it's really hot in here. Out there it's cold. Um, this here, is what I'll show you at the end. This is what I got from a clothing wholesaler, vintage one. Uh, same person I bought all the Canada Goose in Montclair of whatever it's called. Hit that subscribe button. And then all this big items is just stored in here for the time being. Um, I have got plans for all this stuff, but you need to stay tuned because there's a little surprise I got lined up for the future, which is due to happen very soon, within the next month or two. Um, that is a window. <laughs> I've got a blind here, which I'm getting put up over the window. Little uh, post of Tyson Fury covering up one window. We've got another motivational picture coming, which will cover the bottom. And um, so, yeah, this is the crib room. So, where Connor will have his lunch break, and in the evenings, if I'm staying late, I'll just watch a bit of Netflix or something while working. So like if I was drafting loads of clothing, like all of this, I'll just bang a film on, sit here and just draft all the clothing. So on the next clip will be me going through all this. So I'll see you on the next one. Definitely. Yeah. All right, let me know when you're ready. Ready. So this is all the clothing I've got from the wholesaler. Basically, I think there's like 40 items and I paid a hundred and 170 for all of it. I think, I can't remember. Basically it's five pound each and then the graphic t-shirts were two pound each. So 
we got this one here this is a barber like knitted jumper small size but it's barber I haven't looked up the value on any of this leather jacket cotton blues size large it's like an Ian Beale coat isn't it if you ever watch EastEnders when he had that leather jacket This one here is also a leather coat. Now we're on to the interesting bits. All of this stuff gives me like a, a Fresh Prince of Bel Air vibe. It's all just like colorful retro 80s and 90s. It's like, um, this is like a vintage Adidas. But, um, a raincoat or something. It's very thin, lightweight. And then we're on to the exciting stuff. So this one here. It's like a shell suit top. Adidas. Lovely. I love this sort of stuff. You can see there, look, Adidas. And then it says it uh, on the zip. And there's a tag there. The majority of this stuff has been checked and it's all legit. There may be the odd bit that slipped through the net where I didn't check it, like that, for example. But I could still sell that. Just I just won't say the word Ali does. This here is a vintage shell suit top. Triumph. Lovely, that is. If I was to change my style, I would say this sort of stuff is the stuff I would like to wear. This, I don't know if this is vintage or not. But it's a Timbaland performance, like a shell suit type top. And then this one here. This is Legends made in the USA. I don't know, it's like a red Indian thing. Don't quite know. Christ, how long is his arm? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, pause it. Tell me when. Right, so, sorry about that. Someone turned up about the alarm system. Anyway, this is the other one. Another one, so, shall I say, DHL coat. So I've just took up a little part-time job on the side when I'm delivering parcels. So if you ever see me rocking up in this, be sure to give me a kiss on the cheek, all right? Then this one there is like a vintage bomber or Harrington jacket, feeler. Lovely. Lovely. Um, got a nice spell out on the back. Look at me with a clothing lingo. This one here. I don't think it's vintage, I just picked it up because of the make. So it's a fleece. Burgaus, if that's how you pronounce it. So it's a black fleece. And then this is like some crazy cat lady's coat. Look at this. Nice. I wanna lick it. <laughs> There's the brand, I can't really read it. Trend fashion by whatever. So it's got padded shoulders. I thought I had a flamingo on the back again. Yeah. For some reason, I just think like this sort of stuff will sell. I don't know why. But obviously, I'll wash it first. Now this looks like a vintage Reebok. Uh, I thought that said Warriors, but now I'm looking at it. I don't think it does. What? Yeah, so that's a nice one. 
again it's almost like a shell suit type material a nice vintage Reebok this near is a lassie this is a shell suit top love this I love all the shell suit top stuff And then this one here is the flagship. So that's the label on it. This is like silk, it feels like. Again, these are just so cool. I love them. And then on the back's just not there. And then this one here, we've got a Burberry shirt. Again, I don't think it's a vintage, but it's Burberry. That was me if I go. Christ, that stinks. <laughs> I just wafted that. And then this one here. This, I really like. Again, this one stinks. But I just know it's been marking, but still. So, popper on the arms. That's it. Hit on the side, nice spell out the hit on the back. That is nice. The tag on this has been cut, but I just love it. I'd say it's genuine. I've done a few checks on that. This lovely vintage Puma. So if I wore any any of this brand when I was growing up, I'd get chinned. They'd be like, Puma, you poor git. I nearly <laughs> swore then. But now you, you look at it and you think, that is amazing. Like unless you had Adidas or Nike, you were laughed at. Had your dinner money knit. And then this vintage Adidas. Three stripes down the arm. Little hit on the back there, look. I thought I'd seen one on the collar. Oh yeah. So if you have the collar down, then it's got it there as well. There's a the tag in there, look. That's a nice one. That's like a, just a normal cotton. Yeah. And tracksuit top. Adidas. Lightly colours on that. And then we got Gant USA, Sun Valley. I have no idea about this one. I just, for some reason, liked it. It's like a fleece with zip pockets. Uh, it's got like a spell out around the neck, embroidered, and then the tag is in there. The rugger fleece. And then this one here is like a teddy, teddy bear, like material. It's proper vintage, Kelly Hansen. Proper vintage, this is. Love it. And the tag for this is a nice vintage tag on that. This is a lovely little vintage Puma fleece. Brown. That's the back. Got a little one. Um, Puma, Puma hit on the collar, you know. Look at that tag, look. Green, isn't it? Uh, green writing, yeah. This one here, I don't know if this is vintage, but 
is Adidas and is unusual. I don't know how to explain the, the material of this. But it's got three stripes down the arm. So black or grey. That's the tag on it. On the bottom there, it's got that. And then we got this vintage Mickey Mouse top. Good condition ish. And then we got this Adidas fleece. Oh, I love this one as well. Wait until I turn this around. Beautiful. Yeah, it's embroidered. Follow me. Look at that. I love that. That's embroidered as well, proper, decent. And on the collar. Again, this could be a fake. Just look at the tag on it. Just but that is still a nice item. If it is fake, obviously I wouldn't be able to sell it on eBay, but I'll sell it elsewhere. Not as fake, I will obviously say. This one here could possibly be genuine. Maybe, that's the tag on this one. Again, if some of this stuff, I don't know what I'm doing. Some of it I checked with Ricky from uh, Ricky Lee reselling. Some of it I just didn't bother bothering him about. I just grabbed it. This here, to me, if you watch gangster movies like mobsters, if you see a mobster, working out or going to the gym here we'll have this sort of tracksuit top on with matching trousers a made man wearing that and then these are just random like graphic t-shirts they only owe me two quid so some are single stitch and some are not so that's not but for two pound even if i only get a tenner each This one here, this is a single stitch. Oh, long sleeve. Oh, wait, this is yours, isn't it? <laughs> I was wondering where I left that. You must have picked up off your bedroom floor. Yeah, I think so. Ah, got a couple more bits. Marco Polo, I just like the colours of that. Again, I haven't researched it, don't know if it's worth anything. Just picked it up because I liked it. This is a single stitch, American Eagle. Single stitch, I believe. Yep. Single stitch. Quite fitting for around here. We we get these walking around the gaff, don't we? Yeah. Loads of them. There's like 50 of them this morning. Yeah. Where my warehouse is, there's loads of um, these deers, like just wild deers. You get loads of them in the street, in the road, walking around. I ain't scared. Uh, single stitch, American flag. Single stitch. Um, can't remember what it says. Children. The heart of the matter. Yeah. Someone will buy that, won't they? This one here is 
This is not a single stitch, but I've just never seen anything like this. I have no clue about that. But again, for two quid, it's got to be a tenner, isn't it? Now this is the new work uniform. I've only got um, a sample in Connor's size. <laughs> but look at that. Wow. Connor be rocking this. That's nice. Oh, look at this. It's like a baseball one, I think. But look, shell suit top. That's probably my favourite one out of, them, out of it all. And then got this one here. The green. I think that's yeah. my favourite. Eh? I think that's my favourite. Oh, that it's a lot brighter green in real life. It's like almost like a luminous green. It's a little darker on there, does it? Yeah, it's like faded out on the video. Yeah, this is bright colour. Like fluorescent almost. Look at that. Got this beast. This is like a track top, similar design to the shell suit tops, but in a track top. And then we got this vintage Adidas, few, few stains, but it's just nice colours. Someone who knows what they're doing might be able to get out. Look at that. That's just nice. For two quid. Again, if that's fake, some of this stuff will be fake, probably. <laughs> but it was just nice to see it and buy it. So, on the next video, I may, if I've had it done by then, show you any updates I've had done to the warehouse. But hopefully, this was entertaining and that. I love that, it's just, um, what's that word? Oh, I don't know what you're getting at. <laughs> nostalgia. Ah, yeah, yeah. For me, anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's it on this video. If you can like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.